three type of women you should never sleep with no matter what she has got the right curves she has front and back she has got the right amount of adipose tissues in the right area and your head is going gaga she's your spec she's the type of woman woman you like she's the type of woman you want to go down with i am not here to detect to you how to live your life i mean there's you as an adult you know the difference between good and bad but in this video i'm letting you know that if this your spec that has got the right shape the right kind of adipose tissues in the right area is among the list of women i'm going to be mentioning in this video i'm advising you today to not under any circumstance sleep with her number one on my list is virgin i know you're already calculating how many virgins you find your way with and you're like ah what is she even talking about well calm down the type of virgins i'm talking about is the type that has kept herself for a very long time looking for that man who is come sweep her off her feet and you know finally she'll give in get married and all that she has already calculated her life and then you hearing that this particular lady, you know, still has her pride intact, decided to go have your way, you know, with her. And on the process, mm, you tried your luck and it clicked and you're dating. And because you already have a motive of coming into her life, you had your way and move on. Let me tell you, you are not free. You've had your way and you think, oh, she's among those type that you you always have your way with and all that. No, this type of virgins will come after you. Karma might not come immediately, but definitely it will come after you. Do you know why? I'm here to tell you the reason. The reason why karma will come after you faster, sooner or later is the fact that this lady has an intention of keeping herself one. Two, you did not go into her life, like you did not you didn't come into her life for any other purpose of dating, but the, for the purpose of having your way through her. And another thing, and the most important one, is the fact that you have had fluid contact. Remember, you're the one that broke the hymen, meaning that possibly there are drop of you know, body fluid like B L O O D that came out on that process and you have had contact with that. Whether you are wearing protection or not, you've had contact with that and you decided at the end of the day that she's you know, you've had your way, it's time to move on. When she talk and ask God to deal with you, trust me, God will actually deal with you. This is different from those type of virgins who you had no ulterior motive of going into their life you just wanted to date her and on the process of of, of it thing didn't go out or didn't go the way you people planned it and you go your separate way you are not going to have issues but you going into a lady who happens to still have her pride in Tad's life with the intent of taking away that pride and you think you're going to go free please don't have such mindset run if that's your mindset towards that lady or else whatever you see at the end of the day you will have yourself to blame remember karma does not come immediately most times it takes a long time before karma comes calling another set of ladies you should not have anything to do with no matter what are reverend sisters let me tell you these people are people who have already dedicated themselves to god they have taken an oath to keep their body they have taken an oath that no man is going to have any kind of knowledge of them immediately they go into that sisterhood and you decided to have your way whether she's the one coming for you or you're the one going for her if she happens to be a reverend sister hear me wrong for your life don't do it because this is practically you fighting with god yes i am not a catholic but the truth is if someone has made up her mind to serve god in a particular capacity and you comes in kind of becomes an obstruction to that particular way that that person wants to serve god whether intentional or unintentional 
it is like you fighting God. This person has taken an oath already, has dedicated her life to God. Even if she's the one running after you, run faster than her. Because at the end of it all, you're not fighting man, you're fighting God. And aside that fact, even if she's the one calling, don't say, oh, even if I don't do it, another person will still get to do it. Please, your life is precious. Don't be in competition with God. Don't try to be the devil in someone's life. Don't in any capacity be the reason why somebody did not serve her God in a way or in the capacity she has planned her life. I hope this makes sense to you out there. Another type of women you should never have anything to do with, no matter what, are married women. In the early days, when a gay child is born, she is betrothed to a man or a, a, a boy at that age, who, of course, is usually older than her. And then she is trained to learn how to love this man she's trained to learn the kind of things that a man likes to eat his favorite food and everything about the man is like dedicating this particular child and say this is your husband for life even though we are in the 21st century where such things are no longer the case just know that when a man has married a woman it is the same thing that applies the woman has taken an oath to only allow that man access to her body. And then, apart from the fact that there are some you know, customs that when you sleep with a man, another man's wife, there is a repercussion that follows. It's either you're having a setback in your business or in your career. Just know that you sleeping with another man's wife has a spiritual implication because it's like you making her to break the oath that she has taken that her husband is the only one that will have access to her body most of these things have spiritual implications that might not come after you now but might come to you later so even if she's the one calling the one disturbing you she doesn't allow you sleep she's everywhere in your business and you have tried your best to make sure that you know she stays on her own and she's not doing it my brother run faster than her because at the end of it all it is your life do not under any circumstance sleep with another man's wife it has a lot of spiritual implications which you will not you will not like everything i've mentioned this type of women i mentioned if you listen to me carefully you will know that all of them have spiritual implications don't allow a minute or two minutes or at most 10 minutes pleasure to make you do something that you will regret for the rest of your life i hope you understand everything i've said in this video and i hope you will change that mindset of having anything to do with this set of women i've mentioned in this video until i come your way in another video bye bye guys